그림 주영 킴 What's your dream? This is a question that Korean middle school students have to wrestle with during the very first year of their middle school. Middle schools run a free semester program, which is 자유학기제, and during which period, students are developing their talents and finding their own dreams. Seemingly, students are quite satisfied with this because it is exam-free period. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, all they do is finding their own dream with their studies left behind. Mm -hmm. In the matter of finding one's dream or developing one's vision for life, many people seem to believe that the earlier, the better. That explains why the secondary education of Korea begins with career education. However, I found some disagreement between what we expect from the program and what the young students feel about their future. Mm. According to a survey of 1,390 middle school students in Seoul in 2019, 4 out of 10 students answered they had no dreams for the future. What's your dream? Now the question becomes even more serious to high school students. They are highly demanded to prepare very specific plan, academic plan I mean. In order to enter a college, they have to fill their students' record with facts and a word that proves how well they are prepared for the study at the college. For example, if a student wants to um, study engineering or natural sciences, he'll probably take in-depth math class, laboratory science class, reading science books, joining math club, science club. They are extremely goal-oriented. They developed pretty decent academic portfolio by doing goal relevant activities in and out of school. They are fully committed to pursuing their goals. However, I'm not sure whether that should be encouraged. Fellow Toastmasters and today's guest, I'd like to share a story of the genius cellist Chang Hanna and her teacher, Rostropovich, who's also the greatest cellist of the 20th century. Chang said her teacher, Rostropovich, strongly emphasized four rules she should follow. And she remembers that made the very balanced fundamentals for her successful career path. The rule number one is, don't perform more than four times a month. Two, hang out with friends who don't do music. Rule number three, try best to enjoy your school. Never miss a day of your school. And lastly, rule number four, live a life of an ordinary child, not a musical genius. This is completely different from what we generally think about early academic education. Rostropovich emphasized that she shouldn't live special and she shouldn't make a full commitment to her goal. Dear Toastmasters, would you dare to try his advice? <laughs> Very exceptional. <laughs> yes, why not? Because Chang Anna already proved the result of the teaching. And moreover, she also wants to give the same message to the very early, early, I mean, very young musicians. Mm. Dear Toastmasters, there's a saying that too much of a good thing is a bad thing. 
well, developing one's vision for life or setting a goal for life is important. However, we should also remember that the goal might also limit our view. In the psychological experiment called Invisible Gorilla, most people fail to notice the gorilla passing just in front of your eyes. That reveals that when people are focusing on one thing, they can overlook something else. So what I want to say is we shouldn't put so much effort or so much emphasis in the future. We shouldn't stop. We should stop teaching the young student to put more value in the future. I hope they are more mindful about themselves and live the present moment. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to, because uh, when you stress too much on the future, they'll probably become the victim of the time, concerning about the future endlessly. So I'd like to wrap up my speech with the song of BTS. Mm. Please enjoy the lyrics consciously. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thunderous of